Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be comparing some numbers today. So as you can see, when we compare numbers in math, we compare them by using some special words. So here I have the word greater. Greater means more, bigger. When I look at the word less, I'm thinking about smaller. When I think about the word equal, I think exactly the same. But maybe you might be a person that really doesn't know how to compare numbers just by looking at the numbers. So today, I got some pictures to help us out. As you can see, I have one, two watermelon pieces. Then I have one, two, three apples. So I have two versus three. Still might be stuck? Well, let's move the pictures. I'm going to bring my watermelon pieces up here, and I'm going to bring my apple pieces over here. And maybe I could see them a little more closely to compare them better. So as you can see here, I have my watermelon to my apple, another watermelon to my apple. But then, do I have another watermelon piece to go with that apple? Nope. So, what is that telling me? That is telling me that the apples, there's one more. There's one extra. Because he doesn't have a watermelon piece to pair up with. So that means the number three is greater than the number two. Ready for another example? Hold tight, here it comes. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see, now I have some different pictures. I have one, two, three strawberries, and I have one, two, three, four, five carrots. So now I'm looking at three versus five. So let's take a look. I already have my pictures set up so they're easier to see, easier to look at. So hmm, I have a strawberry to a carrot, a strawberry to a carrot, a strawberry to a carrot. But what else do I see? I have one, two extra carrots. So what is that telling me now? That's telling me five carrots is greater than three strawberries. I could also say it like this too. I could say three strawberries is less than five carrots. And remember, how could I tell? Because they're extra. They don't have a strawberry to pair up with. All right, you ready for one more example? Here we go. And we're back. So right now, as you can see, I hope you're ready for some sweet tooth action here because I see some cupcakes and I see some candies. I hope I'm not making you hungry today, boys and girls. But anyway, what I'm looking at here now, let's do our counts. One, two, three, four cupcakes and one, two, three, four candies. All right, so let's see who's pairing up with you today. Okay, I see a cupcake and a candy, cupcake and a candy, cupcake and a candy, cupcake and a candy. Boy, oh boy, do you see any extras? I don't either. So what is that telling us? Are we looking at something greater? I see four versus four. Four and four. Greater? Less? Or are they the same? Are they equal? I don't see any extras, boys and girls. I see everyone pairing up. Everybody has a partner. 
So therefore, one isn't greater and one isn't less. That means they're absolutely equal. Four is equal to four. Well, I hope you like our little comparing tutorial today. As I always say, I encourage you to try to practice some of these at home with some things that you might have. And have a great day, and I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.